Hey, Konnichiwa Minasan, it's Gray from Akazashi Tea House over in Japan. How are you doing? You good? Are you Genki? I'm pretty good, thanks. I'm Genki because I've just finished reading Batman and Robin, issue 14. It's a part of the All In Now DC. New writer, new artist. We've got Phil Kennedy Johnson on writing duties with art by Javier Fernandez, who I really enjoyed on King Spawn a couple of years back. He did a really good run on that that comic. So yeah, as you can probably tell, I'm pretty excited by this issue. I honestly, truly enjoyed it. Not saying it's amazing, but I'm saying it's very, very good. A very solid Batman and Robin story, which is what we've been missing. Well, I've been missing that. I don't know about you. I've dipped in and out of this series since it was relaunched, you know, back away, over a year ago now. Not really enjoyed that much about it, but it was Phil Kennedy Johnson like being named on this book, which brought me back in. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. And yeah, loved it, especially the first half with the action. It opens with a great, great action scene, which I'll talk about later with the look inside the book. And there are some really, really nice and funny, almost biting at times, father and son moments between Bruce and Damien. Yes, it's Damien Wayne. I know, not everyone's favourite Robin, but I really like him. I've always liked him because he's a bit of an asshole. You know, what can you do? That's just me. Hey, great minds, think alike, right? Whatever. Was it? I don't know. But yeah, so um, thinking about a score for this, let's see. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it enough to give it a proper, a strong, I'm going to say 8.5, but no, let's 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 be fair. Let's not get over carried away. 8 out of 10. And the reason I dropped that a little bit is because it does have some um, common like tropes or themes which we've seen done before. You know, there's a little bit of a hint of a past mystery. We open with a one page of Gotham in the past, but it doesn't really build on that. You'll find out more about that later. Um, there's a big cliffhanger at the end as well. But yeah, I just... I'm just happy to see, you know, a really solid Batman and Robin action-packed issue. So yeah, enjoyed it. So without further ado, let me give you a little look inside the book. So please keep watching. Here we go. We have a rather mysterious opening. It's Gotham City, 1892. Somebody appears to be dead. We hear a name, Nicodemus Crow. And then some Latin, Memento Mori. Is it Latin or is it Italian? Oh my God, I don't know. We will see your face again. Followed by a terrific double page spread. Just action, action. This is what I've been missing. We've got Memento Part 1. No, it's not the Chris Nolan film. We see three cars driven by criminals. There's a gunfight. They can't see him. Where are you? One of the criminals is flung from one of the cars. The door being ripped off. We see him falling from a bridge. But there's a handy wire or rope or what is it? Grappling hook that's going to catch him. The driver's saying, please don't kill me, I'm just a decoy. And then we see a view of the back seat. Look at those, look at those two figures, look at the eyes, it's awesome. We haven't seen them clearly yet. They're shown here in silhouette, but you can tell who they are by the shape of the eyes. We believe you. The driver's scream echoes through the car, followed by another great image of father and son working together. We've got Batman and Robin, it's Damian Wayne Robin. Empty the next car, he tells him. No problem. Die, you freaking little. He's shooting at Damien, but he can't hit him. It's almost like he's dancing on the car. Never wear seatbelts, do they? It's like the bad guy's code. Here we see Batman tearing open one of the cars like a tin opener. Look at that. The driver screams that he's too late. They're taking down the bridge for the green. And then there's a reference to Poison Ivy issue 26 and the Order of the Green Knight. Not Gawain, I guess. Gotta say, I'm loving the art so far. Really, really into it. Javi Fernandez. Okay, let me skip ahead a few pages. Don't want to spoil too much of the action. So now we are below Gotham, and it's Bruce. He's talking to Oracle. Bruce is asking about security concerns for the Sacred Heart Medical Center fundraiser tonight. Oracle replies, There's been a little online noise about Dr. Bashar and his early work in Kandak. So reference to Black Adam there. Then we're in Pennyworth Manor, Bruce is taking his son dinner. Damien's complaining that, I don't want to go to this fundraiser. I want to do patrol again instead. Come on, fundraisers are boring. Of course, no fundraiser is worth taking Batman and Robin off the streets. Bruce gets Damien to put on a tux. I know it's uncomfortable. Try not to scratch. There are cameras. He's still moaning about patrol. As Bruce and Damien approach the fundraiser building, a voice interrupts them. This city's not yours, Wayne. It's not Bashar's either. 
That's no throne you sit on, it's a wheel. And soon it'll grind you under, along with all this city's prideful forgotten kings. Old men die, Wayne, even you, Memento Mori. Okay, just show a few more scenes now. There's a great scene here with Damien um, in trying to interact with some uh, children at the party. This music's so fun, says a little girl. What? It sounds so bouncy, doesn't it? Makes you want to bounce around. No, says Damien. Then she introduces herself. My name's Emma. You look like your dad. But at the fundraiser, Bruce is interrupted by Oracle via an earpiece. He's warned about this um, possible shots from below in the basement. He goes down to investigate. You're just going to leave me here. I want to help, says Damien. Bruce replies, Stay with the guests. You're their only defence if something happens up here. Okay, there are still eight pages of story to go, but I want to stop the story somewhere here without, without spoiling too much. Great read, great issue. Really, really enjoyed it and so back on board. Well done, Phil Candy Johnson. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed that look inside the book. Thanks so much for watching this far. Here is one of the variants. There's only a couple of variants. Um, a bit hard to choose my favourite. There's a Simone de Mayo, which I don't really like his style, so I didn't pick that. But this is the Yannick Paquette. Yannick Paquette, I think I've got that right. That's a variant, so... But I do like the, um, the main cover. But yeah, if I had to choose one, I'd probably go for this one. Okay. As always, thanks a million for watching. Do drop a comment, let me know what you think. Will you be buying the series now? Now it's got a new creative team. Um, and I hope to see you in a future video. This has been Grey from Akazashi's Tea House, and I'm signing off for the night. Mathane. God knows what I'm doing at the end. <laughs>